Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to the live Wednesday night on fb.com slash martintf1. And tonight, special, the US election. Although US election hasn't over yet, there is no results yet, which I'm going to show you. But I'm going to give you five tips how to gain this opportunity and know what to do. What is the next step? It is going to be up or it's going to be down. And are, are we going anywhere? Okay, so that is the prognosis I'm going to give you so you can go home and then share with it and how to move forward there. Some of you, even despite after this talk, will be much clearer because you've been following me for some time. You know some of the tools that I look at, some of the ink, or some of you are still holding that kind of stocks. Remember, we came from general election Right, and uh, for the Malaysian side, there is a few more events we still need to overcome. But for the US, I think uh, half of the picture is very clear. There is still a little bit of what's your thought on glove banking stock in the short term? Yes, I will talk about it, Dasha. All right, about those sector too. Okay, hi, Xu Peng. Okay, and without further ado, let's let's move on to our uh, talk this evening. Okay, now don't forget, Smart Roby, we are still doing our. Uh, promotion so when you do please share smart roby and you get 400 credit and i tell you why you need this extra 400 credit okay because i'm going to give you a very special bonus now this is where you can share uh this 400 credit up to 7 of november so if you share with a friend just go on here you go into your profile and you click this button in here then you can just share to whatsapp the more you share with you because what we're going to do we go i'm going to give you something special at the end of tonight right definitely a lot of benefit and really thank you for coming to our uh, page in here and being a great supporter i want to give you as a gift all right so it's knowledge that's right it's knowledge okay so let's let's go to it so please share if you have not and you get 400 credit and that will end on the same if you've done your sharing just type share okay share smart roby i really appreciate that all right okay let's move on what i want to uh, talk about tonight Okay, now for those of you who have type one first time, right? Uh, do join our Telegram chat room. We are forever growing. We hit the seven thousand mark. I know it's not too big, but yet it's just nice, and we are able to accommodate many people uh, for information, especially with our MCO that we are having right now. I think that's going to be extended tonight. I have not checked actually what is the case. Of our our number of cases okay also 1322 it does look like we are not gonna get out very very soon now Australia I talked to some of my Australia friends they got out last week but after three and a half months huh, almost 112 days they were locked down double buggy mana mana five kilometer right now I can still go to the shops you know I, I bring one children just just for makan I can do that that's why we're still having 1,000, right? And this thing's gonna prolong that. So hopefully, all you can sit back and learn something very important during this MCU. I think that's that's also very important too, right? Uh, okay, share, thank you. Okay, let's move on to our next uh, thing. Uh, okay, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, right? Uh, where all our uh, presentation are kept there and are maintained. I know many of you may not have the time to go through it because we have more than the most 200 of video close to about a few thousand hours in here but if you continue to follow us there's some important information that i can share with you today just like you have shared smart roby for the extra referral point in here all right at the same time we have done a little bit of a community service for the university so monash and nottingham are uh, the two uh, universities that I'm teaching them about stock market, how to use Smart Roby and so forth. And that's really helped them. If you have any children who want to learn and get on into the, for, especially in the university level, want to know about uh, uh, the uh, how the stock market will do, let us know that there's a number in there and I'll give you a link to join our Zoom, the number two series, because next one will be the last one that, that we have. It will be a free talk, that's for sure. All right, for your children. Okay, it's something that a little bit of a service that I can do. All right. Now, also don't forget our Smart Roby show. We are moving to a slightly different format, more on trade ideas and probably getting feedback from you guys. One of the stocks that you all want me to look at, and that's always been this uh, motto going on in here. And that's going to be a new show starting from 9 of November. All right. So meanwhile, that's right. We are here for the first time. There are no winners yet in the American historical presentation. But of course, we all know like, what Donald Trump usually do, isn't it? He falsely claimed victory after rival, uh, after rival Biden voice confidence, right? 
We all know Donald Trump with this uh, bag of tricks that he has. Now, no doubt uh, he has a Supreme Court. I haven't seen any news yet so far. So that's what I want to uh, get this information out to you. So at least you all know where I'm looking for. And from the team that uh, the research that we have, we will definitely put you in a better, better position. Is what we're doing good for you so far to sort of, you know, explain the, the little nitty gritty so you are well informed. If you think what we're doing, just give us a thumbs up, okay? Okay, how do I approach you for the uni talk? Yeah, yeah, Daniel, just send it to the uh, to the WhatsApp there, 01026. And this is for your children, okay? I want to do this for your children to get them up into speed. Even my niece and nephew, I really want to get them uh, to know about the, you know, the aspect about the investment, especially in the you know, going COVID in there, Daniel, no problem. Any of you who are listening, the couple hundreds of you in here who want your children, uh, just text that number in here and we'll definitely give you a link to join next week. It's actually CV number three, really, okay? All right, let's move on. Meanwhile, okay, we talk about the meanwhile, Okay, let's look at where we are tonight. And right now, as of uh, 8.23, now it's 9.30 already, okay? Uh, you can see uh, over here, we have 238 uh, ahead of Biden, 213 in here. It's very close. You can see in here, uh, North Carolina, which is... Uh, still Trump is still counting 94%. Now, partly of this, this is because of the uh, early voting that people been in uh, absentee voting and mail-in voting that currently been torn out and been opened. That's what Donald Trump is disputing. I think many of you know this. So it's a very slow thing. And that's what uh, Biden came in about three o'clock uh, this afternoon and came out and gave a very confident talk. Look, they're still counting. They were hoping, uh, one disappointment was Pennsylvania, uh, where they were hoping for victory, but that's still 64%. There may be still a turnaround here, but these are very close. You can see Biden is leading in Wisconsin and, and Michigan is 49. Let me just bring over the uh, Bloomberg. Uh, what we hear so far, you can see here is that's that's where you are. You can see Michigan just now was uh, 49 and 49. You can see that's 91. Uh, it's very close. This is the latest one. You can see uh, Michigan was just now 825 was 95. Still the same 49 50. Uh, uh, Michigan is in, uh, in Biden. North Carolina is 50 is Trump. Still no change and it's still 94 percent in here. All right, it's still a very tight race now. If this thing perceived there is a slight bias to Donald Trump. My presentation is a slight bias to Donald Trump. I have to admit it, okay, because I need to decide one person whether we win or not, then I can give you that five tips, that five strategy going forward, okay? And I'm also gonna give you a couple of scenarios in here, what is gonna happening for to, to our market in here. Okay, uh, so this is what's happening now. Now, when we finish this talk at 10.30, that news might change. Trump may be leading, or Biden may be leaning, so we really don't know until next morning. So go back, so there is even a possibility that we might not know in, until the end of the week. The question is, this 64% Pennsylvania, how far are they calculating? And, and also you got the 84, uh, Arizona is in there, 96. Uh, Florida is pretty much there already, but we don't know, things might change uh, as the day. That is why this is thing what we call about Donkey Kong. I don't know if you remember last week I brought up this new term. I call Donald Trump the new Donkey Kong. You remember the game Donkey Kong, you know, uh, that uh, on the Atari, of not mistaken, is it Atari or Com Commodore? Or oh, Donkey Kong is uh, uh, Sega. I think some of you guys remember. If you know Donkey Kong, like me, you know what it, how old I am, right? <laughs> how many of you play Donkey Kong when you're young? All right, okay, those of you who play Donkey Kong, just type DK Donkey Kong, okay? So that's, that's uh, well, that is something that I find that Donkey Kong is really the, the trouble and they throw a lot of this uh, oil, oil, uh, oil container, all right? Right. The all barrel, that's right, all barrel. And and that's that's what that's what we are really concerned about Donald Trump is trying to do in here. And that's what the market don't like. Market does not like uncertainty. Okay. So right now as I'm looking at the US uh, futures, uh so let me look at the US futures I have here. I Y M here and I'll look at the Dow Jones futures. Right now, it's looking positive, 160 points up, looks looking very good. As long as there's a clear winner, 
the market will go either clear winner Trump or clear winner Biden. Now, don't forget uh, uh, that the market, the US market, has sort of priced in a Biden win inside here. So take note of that one. This, again, this result that you see will also change because this is at 8.23. Because right now, it's about 9.45 at the US uh, uh, New York time, okay? But in the Midwest, maybe still early in here. All right. So meanwhile, you can see on our KLCI, uh, we, we didn't react to it very much. Uh, the market fell, just like the Red Pentagon, very similar because they were uh, uh, had the economic stimulus. Remember, they rejected it while the on the House of uh, Congress. So that's why we have this Red Pentagon in here. No doubt, the trend is still coming down for the KLCI. You can see there's actually a lot more evidence, which is that disadvantage to us to be frank with you for Malaysia market uh, we are just you know uh, while Singapore is up almost 30 points we only up three points which is 0 0.22 all right the only th way that we can really rally out it's going to be something I will share with you in the five tips so we have foreign funds selling there's a lot of uncertain political development and the bears is actually in town I know some of you are asking me about three month uh, outlook I cannot provide for the Malaysian market why because as I said before some of the two talks I've talked about they may be uh, uh, what we call a dissolvement okay of the parliament in December because they couldn't now they're just trying to figure out on the 6th which is this Friday the budget 2021 which I will talk about it shortly all right so that's the the tussle in here okay now if you look back at the uh, on the uh, sector what is hot sector uh, the healthcare last week was was doing very well and then it actually turned turned downwards you have the rate in here but the technology and this week it's hot is the logistic we talk about i think uh zach cover them on the 9 30 show if you have not seen the 9 30 show all right just make sure you watch them the 9 30 show uh that they talk about the zach talk about all the gdex uh Tiongnam logistics uh and uh, cj century logistics so those are more for the shorter term the technology continue and then also utility industrial products plantation is coming back you can see that right? they're turning up so use this now if you want to have this uh, um tools it's available for the vsa members some of you already seen it time and time again but you never join us maybe you want to uh, join us then you can do so all right that's the hot sector now the next one is also for the trade vsa member this is the busa statistics uh, talking about foreign fund flow so right now you can see foreign funds are hitting 300 million uh, mark again now I always talk about the average in here we, we in here it's, it's have to be around 150 you know that's that's where the they think but once it hit through 300 million that's not very good in in the shorter term so it looks like foreign funds are actually leaving and it's no surprise you can see the political development that we have in here muhidin prime minister does not get the uh, word that he that he wanted and uh, at the end of it if you follow two of my talks he did not have the majority uh, of the MP backing him up in here. All right. So if you look at the US Dow Jones, it did hit a low of 26,025 in here, touching like the uh, below and then swing back up a quick one here. And there was a spring. And this is this is some of the sign of strength. If you don't know what is spring, you can always type in uh, the uh, uh, sign of uh, sign of strength in the smart roby there is a video tutorial already anyway i can give you a video tutorial those of you who is listening for the first time that's the one uh okay uh jaden chuck want to know about the uni talk the uni talk is actually again i've talked about that one just now it's on uh, next tuesday all right but i have one for you guys later on okay make sure you join me on that one so let's move on to so what has happened dow jones was supposed to crack 29k uh to hit the stimulus uh but there was no deal donald trump basically just you know, decided not to meet up through Steve Mnuchin, uh, uh, this, uh, what we call the uh, uh, finance secretary, that's another word that they use, uh, treasury, that's right, they use treasury secretary, said, no, we're not going to meet because my boss says so. And then if his boss is elected as the next US president, uh, then they will have the economic stimulus in there. So right now, we are in a situation, right, where the president need to be uh, appointed very very soon because someone need to know the stimulus so that's right now we are seeing the dow jones is up 100 uh, dow jones futures is up 100 because 9 30 is already open let me just check out the dow jones right now okay so dow jones the futures now is is up okay 161 
uh, points in here. That's, that looks uh, pretty positive in here. Uh, and and uh, that should be, okay. Now, a lot of people uh, did ask me about the possible sell-off. The sell-off has happened in my opinion. Remember this? Okay, let me just go back to this one here. This was the sell-off, okay. Let me just get my, okay, laser pointer here. So this was that sell-off. You can see here, one hit rate, but this was the sell-off. And hopefully, I think this is a shakeout. Okay, now if you've been following me as well as that, shakeouts are typical uh, trade patterns that they shake out everybody and the market reserve. Remember in 2016, right, when Trump won, the market gapped down almost 1,000 points and start to rally along the way. And there is some historical context to it. Now, a few of you guys, uh, members text me, is it time to buy now? I say, yes, but you still need to look at individual stocks for that one. Look for a green pentagon for those setup. And those are things we actually teach in our courses out there. What I do on the nightly basis is sort of give you a macroeconomics sense, you know, at least you know where is the high tide coming, all right? And then you can you can go in and how long you want to hold, you can definitely use Smart Roby for that purpose. I hope that way I can guide you to this uh, manner and not fall into a pit traps, okay? Okay, uh, anticipating a Trump victory, that was open at 10.30. Oh, that's right, Dow Jones open at 10.30 because of daylight saving. But right now the futures is up uh, uh, 100, 130, uh, 160 points, which is good. So it is what we call a razor thin, okay, a razor thin uh, uh, election, a uh, very thin inch here. Uh, Biden retained to win with a male vote, okay. So uh, Biden already won, that's a new thing with uh, Pennsylvania, because Pennsylvania is the male, uh, with the male vote. A lot of them came out and voted in Because Pennsylvania is always traditionally been deal with oil and gas, which I will talk about it. Okay, and a lot of jobs also, factory jobs, which they all been shipped out to China, okay? So this is the calendar that I've shown with you the last two sessions in here. Definitely we are in November 3rd. So 20th of January is the inaugural date, whoever it is. But right now, who has an edge? Uh, we, okay, who has an edge here? So we yet to see uh, the, the market. It's, it's going to roll down to very, very close, all right? Right now I'm looking at it, you know, but that every five minutes you look at it, it's really changing. That's why it's making it so interesting tonight, you know, this, US election. It's like World Cup football once in every four. In a way, I'm really happy it's all over. Then I don't have to follow it anymore because right now it's just merely focusing on that strategy, which I'll talk about in here. All right. So who is going to win the 2020 election? What do you think? <laughs> okay. Who is going to win the this 20 November? Okay. Let's type up your answers in there. Okay. While I get a sip of water. Biden or Trump, please type it in there. Is it Biden? Is it Trump? Okay, uh, because that is going to be the flavor for, for tonight in here. All right, so if I can get your uh, your reply, that would be great. Okay, so let's move on. Now, remember I've talked about the four scenario and the Donkey Kong. Okay, now you remember if you are Donkey Kong, you know what I'm talking about. That definitely uh, it is a... Uh, 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 tells you how well. Now, very important is that either we get a full Republican uh, control where the Senate, okay, why we are bringing that, let me just show you this one here. This is the results that we have. Let me just make this a bit smaller so you can see, right? So here is where we talk about the Senate. So full Republican control, I think very unlikely because the Senate is it's neck to neck, okay? The House is definitely going to be uh, uh, controlled by the Democrats. Okay, a full Republican is all red, which is a uh, few 50 50. A full Democrat now, if you get a full Democrat, this is going to be good. That's going to be good for the economy. A lot of things will get passed through. All right, so right now you can see, uh, based on what we have right now, not so much assumption, you got very good chance of a full Democratic control and a full presidential control inside that. So it pretty much look like a blue state blue nation all the way but i can be wrong okay as some of you are putting in biden 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 okay uh yeah, that's right and to me actually it doesn't really matter because from the context of the stock market you and me okay not in the context of 
world peace. If you're talking about anything not related to the stock market, I would agree, and many of you agree, Biden is good, you know, because of a person of slightly better integrity and so and so forth. That reflects a lot about humanity and morale and, and ethicals. Those are the things. But from a stock market standpoint, Trump is important that's what i'm on this presentation i am actually focusing on trump to win to be frank with you because uh yeah nintendo that's right uh so why is that important is because very simple right it's the u.s china trade war which i'll talk about the five tips okay just just bear with me as i go through some of those important points for you in here Okay, uh, but we don't have number five. Huh? Number five, so the outcome I think I've shared with you before so very quickly is when you have a full democratic number four here, okay, when you have number four, then you have a lot of tax and spending. That's already been priced in already. Short term, uh, there'll be negative, but medium term is quite positive. And the same goes for, for, for Trump too. If Trump wins and, the, uh, and also uh, Republican, President Republican Senate, that's actually pretty much what is it now doing inside. Both will have a very easy policy, which means you want money, they will print money. That's why the stock market is just going to go whether whoever go up and go down. But very important is what are you going to do with your portfolio going forward? I, I think it's very important that we maintain that one. All right, let's go on to next. Now, the con if there is a contest for either party, which is unlikely, we already seen Donald Trump starting to contest from the earlier report from Reuters. Huh? So we don't know tomorrow when we get up huh, what's going to happen. So tonight is pretty exciting also if you look at the market, like some of you say 10.30 because of the uh, daylight savings in here. And uh, we will contest the, the US election by either parties, okay? No contesting. Okay, let me just write uh, in here. Okay, this is where, okay. let's move on. All right, so if there is a contest, okay, and uh, where Donald Trump put in all his lawyers, expect a sell-off. So the chart that we've seen just now in here may just hit followed by up trust. That can happen tonight which means around 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock, when you, me, you and me in sleeping, suddenly Donald Trump, nothing to do. Uh, he see uh, this sets of things not in favorable to him. All right, He will come in and contest. Because right now, you can see uh, Michi uh, Wisconsin, Biden is leading uh, Michigan, 50-50, uh, 92% in here. And these are very important states. Uh, Trump is leading on uh, North Carolina in here, 94, just another 6% here. In the pocket, I think it's Florida and, and uh, Pennsylvania in here. Arizona does look like it's sweeping to uh, uh, Joe Biden for that one, okay? So we, we really don't know. This is the thing, as I, as I said before, I'm worrying on. And I keep communicating to you guys, okay? Okay, now again, this presentation is biased. To me, I think Trump will win. Uh, I think it's actually good for our, uh, for the economy, for the US economy in the shorter term, as well as what we call the stock market because of the US-China trade war. So as I said before, this uh, presentation is biased towards that. So for second term in here. But then there is a good chance that President Biden will be the new US president in here. But let's move along. Now Trump and Biden win. Where did we get it wrong or where the media has got it wrong? Now, if you've been following as much as I've been with the CNN and everything, you can always do a lot of pollings. Now, one of the reasons why Democrats felt very confident because due to those polling, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Florida, uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, and some others. But they have lost Ohio, they have lost Florida, uh, Pennsylvania, I think they're going to lose it. Oh, Michigan and Wisconsin still 50. Mi uh, I think uh, Michigan is... Uh, Michigan is 50-50, uh, Wisconsin, they might, they might put it back. But there are a lot of these people that they poll or what they call, uh, they call up, uh, who refuse to be interviewed. This is what we call, uh, let me just get my laser pointer here, uh, the, the power of the silent majority. They underst understated the power of the silent majority and that who refuse to be interviewed. And also in Pennsylvania and some of those states that we mentioned, uh, in the not mid state, uh, if Biden get elected, he already said that in the uh, debate number two, that by 2035, a lot of the oil and gas will be phased out, all right? So a lot of people are worried in jobs, and a lot of Latinos are basically escaped from, not escaped, lah, huh? they, they migrated from, from Mexico, they migrated away from uh, uh, Q, uh, Cuba, okay? So they were afraid of socialism. That was the word that they used out. Now, despite what you've seen, I would say uh, Donald Trump did a pretty 
good job you know with his scaring tactics with his visiting and also if you notice biden has been sort of uh, been doing a lot of his uh, campaigning from a base or from distance okay and in an era yes no doubt he is very very careful not to spread the virus in uh, to the uh, to COVID-19. But we all know why Donald Trump can't do that right now. There is a lot of reports that have been written. If Trump doesn't become a president, there is a lot of charges, a lot of criminal charges, fraud charges will be imposed on the Trump organization as well as him and his family in here. So that's why he has nothing to lose. He doesn't care about his, uh, his supporters. He just needs to get back in the office because once he has become the second president, Right, he enjoy what we call the present immunity. He's he's no longer can be prosecuted. It's either do or die. I think some of you are aware of that that point itself. So you get updated in here. Okay. So let's look at some of the states previously I've shown before why those states are important. If you look at California, why it has a major majority of fifty five electoral college, what being the heavier one, uh, it's partly because of the you know Silicon Valley over here, right? Uh, then you have the New York, which is the Wall Street, Pennsylvania, again, a bit of jobs, Florida, Ohio, even Ohio up here, uh, a lot of factory jobs contribute 3.3. Illinois is, again, uh, a, a blue state, um, but the oil, oil and gas. So the oil and gas, Pennsylvania and Texas, uh, as well as uh, Florida, these are all a lot of the Latino. They are the big uh, red state supporter of, uh, supporting Trump for that one. Okay. Now, if you look back, uh, to the prediction, a lot of punters are doing that. The 270, let me just bring this up to you. This is what the punters were predicting, okay? So right now, those three states, okay? Uh, let me just bring up here, where they were forecasting, you can see they were forecasting Michigan, okay? Uh, Wisconsin, Mount Sapu, and uh, Michigan. So that's the one they are really fighting. You can see Michigan, 50-50. Uh, if they can support these three states, which they predicted, then Joe Biden will get the, the the seats inside here because Pennsylvania already yeah uh, this was their forecast a blue state Sudamaso Orang Bunya okay even Vermont okay uh, Vermont was a blue state yes it's still retained Ohio they it was a flip toss state right so sort of not too sure where they are this has gone to uh, 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 the uh, red state which is the Trump state inside here okay so all was this that's what they were focusing on this the only disappointment so far is Pennsylvania. Uh, they did pretty well on uh, on uh, Arizona. Arizona was a flip state. They managed to flip it. Uh, Nevada was still a, a slight blue in here. Hopefully, it, when the post comes in, you will get that result. So this is based on the forecast. Who is likely to win? So if they follow this formula that you've seen in here with the result, then you will you will know uh, who is actually going to be leading out here. All right. So we're going to go down. So. Bottom line is siapa menang doesn't matter. If you notice, uh, Dem uh, Democrats have a better uh, track record, uh, having said that, uh, in the market. So even when people talk about you know Donald Trump losing and the income tax overall, Democrats do better. Just keep that in mind, okay? Don't be so afraid. So, and again, Smart Roby will be available in the first quarter of 2021. Then you can use it uh, for your uh, investment in US. So some of you, those of you who are interested to open up uh, a US uh, uh, trading account, do let us know. We have Arif, one of our coaches, uh, which is, you know, uh, uh, attached to uh, UB Kehang and uh, most uh, helped you with any accounts opening if you want to. The number is just below 010 266 Six one. Just use that number and contact us because the U.S. market is looking good. Now, if you look at S and P performance by the president, okay, by the president so far, uh, you can see uh, Democrats has been doing very very well. It's just the same thing when you select stocks, ah. Huh? When you select stocks, no, nobody knows. When you look back ten years ago, you buy Public Bank and you buy Inari. Now Inari is a household product. Public Bank, right? Uh, was a household product 10 years ago. It is 10 years now. But right now, public bank, where is it? Right. So that's why it's important to really look at the sector, look at the, the growth of the industry, which I'm going to talk about the second part of my presentation here. Let me just go through some of this uh, US-centric uh, political situation. So if you look back, 45% uh, growth, this is per year, 
45% per year for Democrats and about 90% for the Republican. Uh, if you look back over a period of, of 30 years in terms of S&P, okay? Yeah. Uh, okay, Aloha, Aloha, you can see the number on the left-hand side. If you see the number on the left-hand side here, you can see, and also look at the description under the comment there, you can find uh, the number there if you want to open up uh, an account for, for that one, okay? Do you like what you see so far? Okay? Easy to understand, my speed okay. If it's okay, give me a thumbs up, okay? Because I want to continue on. Okay, great. So if you look here, uh, the growth of the S&P 500, that's why I said a lot. There is a lot of way to really uh, take opportunity of the US market. You can buy the ETFs, uh, something I'll talk in our, our courses inside there, or you can buy the, the respective stocks in here. So whoever wins, keep in mind, the US market will go higher. That's all, all right? So I keep telling it in here. So the, a clear winner is important in the, uh, the, the stock market in here. So the biggest risk when you ask the fund manager in the recent Baron report is actually the COVID-19. So having said that, what is the game plan? If Trump wins, how, how is he going to control the COVID-19? Well, what he's likely to do is going to push the vaccine, okay? Uh, which is actually due to be September, 2021 or June 21, the earliest. But of course, if you listen to the CDC of Dr. Fauci, those vaccines are not available. It's not tested yet. Even right now, the vaccine is been, uh, still in phase three for the Malaysia under Sinopharma. Uh, the Chinese government are contacting Malaysia to do some sort of testing. They are already done so in Saudi Arabia right, and in Brazil. Huge tests inside, about 30, 40, over 1,000. But they're really not sure about those tests. But Donald Trump also will be doing very similar. No need phase three give it to everybody, to the those people in the Midwest who win. Hey, this is uh, the vaccine you need. You see, i taken it, right? Donald Trump said, i taken it. Of course, he take a different one with Regeneron and lots of those therapeutic, uh, therapeutic uh, medication that helps him. So this is what he's just going to shower through to the human because he is only concerned for himself. No doubt, everybody in US is very interesting. They value independent. They value their amendments more than, than their life. Okay, they will protect their guns, right? their machine guns or their assault rifle more than their life. This is how US people is. It's just how they were ingrained. You know, compared we all Asian, we are so different in here. But let's get back to the COVID-19 in here. So COVID-19 remain to be the uh, so-called interesting uh, event that they do not want to have. Now, if you have COVID-19 uh, continuing on, then this must be really derail in the market all right okay now let's work or uh, work on the uh, area where donald trump won that's why i have this quoted now uh, for the second term he will promote this definitely the oil and gas uh, and the finance sectors automotive all right they're going to give a lot remember right now uh, almost 20 billion are given incentive to the oil and gas he will f the, the uh, Paris uh, Climate Accords, there will be no green movement. He will let the fire burn and just say, no, this is bad management. That's what happened in California. That's why I say, uh, with Donald Trump being appointed, you have another four years of global turmoil. Unpredictable. He is a bit like Kim Jong-un, you know, the North Korean president. And, uh, and at least Putin is a bit quiet. <laughs> Doesn't do so many of those things, right? So just keep that, take a look at it. So technology is, is the sector you're going to be looking at. All right, so five tips. Now we're going to the part two of our presentation, which is the five tips uh, after the US election. All right, so I'm going to go through this, right? Uh, it's, I'll go through one by one here. So first, one, two, three, four, five, plus number six. So take a photo of this, all right? If you want to take a photo, share with you because I'm going to go through each part of it. Number one, okay? All right, I'll, I'll flashback this again. Do you, do you want me to put back? Just let me know. I'll put it back for you. You mentioned which party will win stock market, but may I know why you mentioned will favor more? Yeah, this is the reason why. Okay, uh, Daniel, I'll, I'll talk about this reason on uh, five tips. I'll go down to this one. Now, for a start, if the market, if uh, Trump wins or Biden wins, just allow some time for it to resume its course. If you notice, uh, over a period from 1926 to uh, 2019, there's always a pullback right uh, i believe the pullback happened you know the big drop that we have uh, last week the big sell off 600 that is the pullback right now uh, the market may likely to go up of course there's no certainty that's what i'm betting on so those of you who wanted to invest and trade that's 
this, this week you got you got to do it okay going for that one going forward there's going to be a lot of uncertainty now some of those favorable trump tech sectors are in the post mco based on the first list are online retailer these are all mco because the covid 19 with the winter coming which i'm going to talk about next week, it's going to continue so that's why it's important some of these continuous sectors to be in uh, whether they are amazon uh, they are microsoft okay uber and, and Gillette, okay, those are into the pharmaceutical. Those remain to be important, okay. Still along the first, uh, so what we're going to do to get that kind of opportunity, Trade VSA is offering, okay, this uh, sector screener. It will be available for the sign up member uh, on the first quarter of 21. So right now we are still testing it. So which means which sector we look at just now, right? We can actually click on here, technology. And then we can look at the best setup to go in. If you look here, uh, we have Zilix, Garmin, uh, Teradyna, Lum Research, Gartner, uh, Paycom, FX5, Autodesk, Micron. So you can really pick through those sectors and actually select it. That's how we look at it. All right. The the uh, the other way is using Smart Robbie. You wait for it to come. But this one, you go and look for it. Okay. That one you just have to wait for. So there's two ways to do it. The Smart Robbie, you wait for the stocks to come to you in the trending stock when Smart Roby will be, US market will be available on the January. So I'm sort of prepping you guys get ready for that one. Right now, we are still doing a lot of this uh, back testing in here. All right. Oh, you want to put on the summary slide? Can, can, can. Uh, let's go back. Okay, because I have that slide uh, at the end of it. Okay, so take a look picture of this one. I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay, let's move on in here. So we are still at number one, uh, tip number one. Now tip number two, okay? Tip number two, the market sell-off, if we get, is only temporary. We are likely to see a rally, uh, or worst case, Donkey Kong. You can, you can see back here, this is something I should say, NASDAQ lead a stock gain as word counting continues. So right now, I'm checking, some of you already checking and tell me, right? Please tell me, uh, what is the Dow, uh, S&P futures or the Dow Jones futures doing right now? Right, uh, you can tell me better if uh, I don't have to switch on. Yeah, it is still up. Okay, uh, okay, it's still up. I can't see it that well because I have it on, on another screen. But very important, this screen shows that one day after you can see, uh, there is a uh, incumbent or the incumbent party loss. It actually gapped down. So we have that two days ago, lah. All right. Then you can see one week later, it is still down, right? And then. One month later, it will pick back up. But year end, uh, if you look at incumbent party loss, right, the market will go up. It's just that here, the result, incumbent party won, which is Trump. So that's why, based on this, the uh, S&P by the uh, Stadegas Research Group over 1936 and 2017, including the 2016 election, right, we actually look at the statistic. How is the average doing? It looks here that Donald Trump is favorable for the market. So based on the US market, without looking at the polls, I would say US, that's why I think Donald Trump will win, all right? And uh, you know, I always go through numbers and statistics, and that's what I believe uh, we at Trade VSA can really help you to give you the facts it is uh, to, to, to make up your mind, okay? Now, tip number three, the US COVID cases in continue to rage through many of the midwest state even in florida where people were celebrating uh, the win in florida disco disco party party uh, right uh, there is a lot of people being hospitalized one of the highest hospitalization of covid 19 but if you look closely there are five biggest day leading the case and right now we are going towards winter now it's already november december is coming the coldest period is january and and uh, february you know when cold period uh all the cdc guidelines that people will crowd at home that is where covid 19 is spread now if you look at this chart just like in malaysia right now when i look at it uh we are going to have likely if you look back election right next year march but they will dissolve the parliament if you notice this week a lot of movement also uh, be, between uh the the uh, budget 2021 which will table on november 6 so there's a lot of movement that's why we see this case malaysia is still at 1032 yesterday is also 9000 we will hit 1004 1005 and that's why we we need to you know sort of level the 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 cases and we go down so right now I haven't checked the report yet for our malaysia it doesn't look very very promising we are in a way a little bit 
better than US def, that's for sure in terms of the numbers they are most at about 96,000 or even crossing 100,000 in here if you look at the CDC guideline if you go forward in November uh, 15 onwards they would hit five uh, you know 500,000 cases uh, very very soon okay in the coming winter in here and that's very very scary too right uh, so right now we can see uh, on the 3rd of November which is 92,000 they are projecting uh, somewhere between the 300 to 500,000 if nothing has been done so far so this is very very scary so what does that mean Aha, this is why smart Roby comes out crisis opportunity for PPE and rubber glove because okay the Dow Jones hasn't uh, up yet uh, up 554 point okay good okay so this is where the crisis opportunity for PPE and rubber glove is still there ladies and gentlemen don't sell all your rubber glove yet as I said before because this issue will persist well, as a matter of fact, I said it before, a Biden win may not be so positive based on what I've just shared with you. All right. It is not so positive. So here is why you still need to keep. And that's why if you look at it in terms of the glove maker, right? If you notice, uh, Hatta and Supermax continue to show super duper uh, returns that we've seen so far. And will it, it may not pick the kind of performance that we want to, but definitely it is something still good. You will not, make, as I said before, you will not make that kind of super return, but buy on slight pullback in here. Right. There are some sectors not covered in here, but already started to move, which we talk about is the uh, timber, which I'm going to talk about later on. All right. Now, tip number four. OK, now the US-China trade war, if Trump is going to go through overdrive. Now, if you look at uh, this is from the uh, Wikipedia back to 2017, uh, there always been uh, what we call a trade in balance, huh, which means U.S. buy more thing than from China. So you can see here, uh, the yellow one is import, uh, U.S. import and uh, the export uh, so little. So you can see a uh, trade imbalance is disadvantage to U.S. It's always been like that. So over a long run, that's why U.S. in deep deep trouble, and that's what this Chinese trade war is all about, right? To balance back the trade. So here's the punchline. Okay, same thing. Uh, tip number four. Okay. Top glove worker has COVID, not sure it's true or not. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, Michigan just turned blue. Okay, that's that where you go. Okay, so after I presented this, next week, I may have to change my opinion if Biden wins. Okay, I'll come back next week again. So don't worry about that one. So the local EMS, uh, will the windfall, I don't think there will be a windfall tax, uh, Dasha, on the glove stocks. Especially right now, it's not that favorable for them to do so. Uh, the current government under uh, Perikatan may not do that. They need to buy time. And it's not to dis. Usually, politicians don't want to come out and and uh, dis and uh, so called uh, kecewakan orang lah, disappoint people. I I I don't think that's likely to have that one. Okay, but the stock hasn't moved yet because of this reason. They were worried that the stock is not, but they cannot say no. They cannot say yes, and that's why you have this. But Again, smart, but if you do see uh, the, the announcement, the drop will be much, much farther. But right now, I'm not seeing that. So back to the US-China trade war going overdrive. The local EMS, uh, elect electronic manufacturing services, manufacturing test equipment makers will benefit. Now, if you look here, product with the highest import substitute, the furniture, the electrical, the electronics, these are the three sectors in Malaysia that do well. That's why you look at Lee Han Homerits early on, which I talked about in July, has started to move. Uh, already for that purpose huh? you can see that one and uh, so this is why uh, it's important to know and from the Namura research Malaysia Chile and Vietnam because we are the non aligned to the US one will the biggest benefit out there uh, from it because being a manufacturer uh, even Thailand uh, number 11 and number 20 is Thailand because of the manufacturing that's what our company like ATA uh, IMS okay uh, which is the old name Denko, uh, VS Industry. Those are the, the stocks that already started to move up. Use Smart Roby to, to check them out, okay? So then the ASEAN biggest trade war, if you look at Vietnam, uh, and for Malaysia, point number four, in terms of GDP uh, for 2020, it will contribute 1.3%. Uh, so if you do your mathematics, uh, that is around 3.4 uh, 3.4 billion US, about 12 billion uh, ringgit. Uh, ringgit. That's a 
fair bit amount of, of extra business from in here. That's why you see a lot of Malaysian stocks really propel and started to move up a lot for, for that one, okay, the furnitures in here. So no surprise, no doubt, you will find many of those stocks are overpriced. That is why I want to teach you another topic in here, okay? When will the US election be over? Technically, it's over. It's just that it's counting right now, but we do not know when the counting finish. All right? They say maybe maybe a week. Hopefully, we will finish by tomorrow. Then we know certainly the, the results, depending which news you listen to. Now, remember, Michael Bloomberg support Biden. Uh, so if you go to Bloomberg like what I'm doing, you will bias towards... Uh, uh, Biden because Bloomberg is Biden if you go to Fox which is Rupert Murdoch which is good friend of Donald Trump will bias Donald Trump so you can so usually what I do I look at Fox and I look at uh, 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 CNN as well as at Bloomberg which is the mainstream then you get a balanced view out there okay okay still at tip number four right we, we talked about earlier on uh, this was on Star Paper today, right? They talk about the furniture. Remember, uh, the US-China trade war and like it or not, smart money pretty much feel that, that Donald Trump is like the win and that's what the rubber glove. Now, this is a report from UB Kiehang and this was on today's Stars. If you have not catch it, this is point number four, which I've talked about just now. Those of you who took a photo of that one will definitely benefit. It talks about uh, the... Every selling price of uh, particle boards, he will bought Lee Han, Homrich, Pohat, export to US and, and Europe. Smaller caps like Wegman, they're expanding the capacity. One of it is also because of work from home, okay? Uh, people are renovating their house, they're doing more of those kind of things, DIY thing. And if you read through this report in here, um, the chip board has increase their selling prices because demands are getting there 20 to 30 percent and that will continue to go on and one of the things is because of the u.s china trade war if you see the u.s china trade war u.s on the same article here if you can read it they impose a 15 percent tariff on consumer and uh export furniture has increased 38 percent year on year to 4.7 billion in here Right in the wheel, there's a spillover from China from the trade uncertainty in here. So definitely, with the uh, uh, if you have Biden winning, I think the furniture sector will slow down already. Okay, uh, for the rubber, it's still okay because COVID nineteen they may even order more. Right now, you can see uh, uh, U.S. has uh, sort of stopped top glove. Remember the CB CBP, uh, the custom border patrol has stopped top glove for that one in here. Okay. Okay. Uh, Google search Trump and depending on party contest or not the contest. Okay. All right. So the furnitures remember and uh, that's why I said uh, those of you who have not seen some of my video subscribe over to YouTube. You'll be informed. You may not be able to attend every Wednesday talk. So the furniture stocks I presented way back in July. If you have bought some of those stocks, you'll be laughing your way right now. Of course, not all sectors I, I talked about make money, but at least they do have some sort of fundamental in here. And my colleague uh, uh, Zach will cover them on the technical uh, entry for that one. Okay. Now. Point number five, tip number five. Now, like it or not, as I said before, our KLCI market outlook are dependent on the local political development. <coughs> Having said that, so you have this, as I said on early on, our Prime Minister uh, Muhyiddin did not have that majority. Somehow he BS the Agong. <laughs> believe him not. and that's why we're in this situation right now. But hopefully, right now, uh, the Prime Minister Muhyiddin is appealing to a lot of his uh, so-called political uh, rivalry to forget about it, which I think is good, and get the budget approved. Because at the end, it's very important that we do not have uncertainty. Just like in US, when you don't have uncertainty, the thing will jalan. When you have uncertainty, tak jalan inside here. So also at the same time, I think Anwar is coming back. So those part one and part two, I talk about the tumbling of the house of cards. If you have not watched it, go over to YouTube and watch it. I talk about those sectors in here. But going forward, very likely is Anwar need to strive his so-called move and say that, look, I want to be the prime minister of number nine. Let's work out a deal. So we really don't know. Everything is still very liquid. At the same time, the COVID cases continue to to, to increase. And don't forget, Prime Minister Muhyiddin uh, is recovering under remission for a pancreas cancer too. So there is so-called a health reason when a person takes too much stress or so, uh, he may not want to do it. So there's a lot of uncertainty. My biggest question is, if 
not Mu, Mu, if not Muhini as Prime Minister, Anwar, Hishamuddin, Tengku Razali, what do you think? It's going to be the Prime Minister of Malaysia. And, to get, and that is why the market now for the KLCI cannot move. There are certain sectors. Uh, of course, some of the sectors that have done pretty well, the uh, look at the sectors. Uh, those of you who have our trade VSA sectors, definitely will look at technology, right? we got a plantation. So that sector, if you subscribe to it, it's very, very, very beneficial to you if you do uh, want to sign up for our product in here, okay? Yeah, possibly to Friday. What's the impact of market bringing to Supreme Court and the result is not confirmed? That's why we have the Donkey Kong. Uh. Market will go down 5%, okay, to answer who switch one. The impact of the market, which I talk about it here. Okay. Donkey Kong. Okay, now this is uh, still the tip number five. So the Harapan leader has met up with the finance minister for the budget 2021, which will be tabled uh, this Friday in here. And he hoped that all MP will support. I think he's getting all the support, in my personal belief, but there's going to be a, some sort of a back deal, you know, you know I support you, what are you going to do about it? And at the end of it, this is quite bad because the prime minister will be, you know, uh, so-called be arm, arm strength, you know, he, he will be, so what was that word they use? Uh? Uh, I'm wrestle, uh, yeah, I'm wrestle you, okay? They'll arm wrestle you for every deal, and that's not good going forward. That's why you see the foreign funds are, are starting to leave because everything also, uh, you cannot pass through everything also. You have to count out to all the MP, you count out to the BN, you count out to the PAS, you count out to the DAP, you count out to the Amana, you know, Pejuang is already uh, under Mahate one. I think that one is less effective now. Lah. You got Masli is all coming over to, to, to join, uh, uh, coming out from the Pejuang, okay, for that one. Yeah, kena cikik. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's, let's move on. I want to finish here soon. So the five tips again uh, that we have, I've talked about number one, number five, number five. Now, number six is a new one. Right, which I'm going to talk about, which is the value growth investing strategy, which is critical for 20. So this is the part three of the presentation. Okay, so you can see KLCI market outlook very dependent on the local political development. Yes, there is some take on the technology stock, but again, try to invest by looking in the sector. The local development in here will impact, especially if you look at uh, the market volatility. That's what our market tablet jalan in here. All right, now. Point six, it's value growth investing. Now, there are changes going forward in here. I want to recommend and really talk about this. That's uh, true education and transformation is a process of starting doing. So what we felt that over time, you know, during the uh, uh, this COVID, there is actually a shift in, to growth investing. How many uh, uh, agreed there is a shift to growth investing? I think it's not a... Uh, not a, a rocket scientist, right? Just type in, if you believe in the shift to growth investing, type growth investing in here, okay? Okay, now, next thing you tell me, the two stocks that you see, which one is public bank, which one is Inari? Just type public bank gray or Inari gray or public bank red or Inari red, which is which? Now, this is looking back on 2014, to 2000, that's almost a period of six years in here. All right, can you tell me which one is which? When you do a one-to-one -one comparison, the shift into growth investing, all right, which one is it? Okay, so growth investing and, and Inari in here. Inari is gray, yeah, that's right. It doesn't take a, a scientist or a brain, right? So what I'm trying to say is also try to pursue, especially those of you who are in the later part of the senior, to take a bit more approach to move towards a growth investing all right of course my team is all go investing we always have uh again uh, uh, in our main course we always look at the portfolio at the whole sense we can still trade no doubt about it but the growth investing is still important in here now the same point we have talked about is if you look back at templeton even going further back to 2007 you can see growth investing has outperformed okay growth investing has outperformed um uh, value investing and what is value investing this is what it's all about. Now, value investing is all started by, by some of the big guru in there, Warren Buffett, uh, uh, David Dobbs, and Benjamin Graham. They all wrote a book, Remember Security Analysis. Those of you know, very thick book, 300 over pages. I was one of them who read it, right? But then there is growth investing, which is the key people who develop it. Actually, the person is William O'Neill. You like it or not, William O'Neill really took what he learned from Wyckoff, which is a seafood belongs to uh, Tom Williams, and also, you know, in a way, and make it up 
as part of our growth investing in here. Okay, so growth investing really sums up where we are heading for the team. And uh, like it or not, uh, BSA, it's important critically to, uh, to look for those kind of shocks and ensure that we actually go in and make. So smart money like to shake out before major move. And that's what is happening right now, right? If what I think is correct, we're going to have a nice move going up. There is a shakeout that we have right now in here. Don't be afraid. News will be bad. All right. Okay. So some of the key drivers going forward for COVID-19, uh, uh, this uh, is no surprise, is that there is a permanent shift towards home working. Tech firm will benefit, but some people will find that employees don't want to return to the office. I know uh, my friend who been working from home uh, since March this year the multinational ones. And that's what's really happened. They find it like they save so much cost, they may not even want to rent out. They can do a lot of Zoom meeting and it's cost efficient. And that's what has fundamentally changed in our lifestyle, how we play, how we shop and so forth. All right. So 5G is coming right now. Even the Apple 5G phones is already out. I have a 5G with me here, my Samsung Note, which is on my table. <laughs> All right. So there are 5G and communication is going to be very fast. No doubt some people say uh, 5G may not work so well. 4G is got a problem. What about 5G? But what I'm trying to say, the perception is very important. The perception that it will change the way that people uh, work from home. All right. So that is why furniture is one good example. So what we see, those changes that we see, people work from home, they have to renovate their house, they have to have furniture. And that's why you see pump up demand for Lihen, Pohua and home rates. That's what I wanted to teach you, ladies and gentlemen. So one of the things that we, we have been doing over time, especially now I also work from home, sometimes I go to office. Many of you are, are, are working from home. So the question is, what are you doing during the COVID-19? Right, so this is where we ask you, okay, those of you who want to really go into learning, and that's why we have our coach and our training support to be in here. We do all our program Zoom, right, and so forth. So, on this 21st of uh, November 2020, we'll be conducting uh, a course, a Zoom course on growth investing, aligned that what we say, and for the 2020 in here, all right, and uh, so. The cost of it is almost like what I said earlier on. Just share the two person and you can come for it. So it's a new way of thinking. So you can activate the monthly pass. All right, I'll just show you how to do that. All right, how to come for the, the for this course. So make a date. It's on 21st of November. Okay, uh, let me just bring in my uh, how to activate it. Okay, so once you activate it, uh, Smart Roby will let us know your email and we'll send you a Zoom link after that. So just go here. Go to wallet and you see the, the monthly pass. Okay, monthly pass. Or let me just hit this one view and you purchase uh, the not daily pass, a monthly pass. So it's only 800 credit. Now, if you share with two person, the, the cost is almost free. All right, so it's uh, limited to first 500 people on Zoom. Uh, it will be from uh, 10 o'clock to 3 30. All right, so if you want, do it now. Okay, activate it now. All right, uh, let me just show you the email first. Uh, yeah, the email is here, right, about it. So the value investing. So the this, it's a course that we uh, should value growth investing be suitable for you. Uh, join us on uh, 10 a.m. to 3.30. So it's more like a continuation. This is something, it's a gift. Over COVID-19, I sit down and thought about how the world is going to be. And I want to bring this into a course, which is almost free, uh, 10 to 3.30. So make sure you join, activate it. So that's why I said, no? uh, little things you can do, go over to Facebook's review and give us a good review too. Really appreciate that, okay? Go over to Facebook and give us a good review if you think this is thing. But I want to teach you about growth investing in here. So make sure you can activate this, right? And then do so, okay? Uh, so... Basically, the cost is free. <laughs> it, if someone you do ask me, how much is 800 credit? Okay, 800 credit is 80 ringgit. So the online seminar is worth $800 because I've structured, we're doing a lot of cases in here. My time also very important, right? Uh, I want to share you guys if you find it. And uh, it's a little bit of a gift for your support for all these years, okay? In here, okay, let's move on. Okay, we think we've done that one in here. Now, of course, uh, after the course, some of you want to find out more what to do with our tools, uh, how to navigate. We have our three-day course. 
That's right. Our three-day course is a paid seminar where we mentor and coach you for a year. After 12 months, you've seen some of the coaches. We'll talk about the growth strategy, right? It's an introduction for you, as well as getting into the tools that we talk about in here, trading strategy, and also training you how to trade the zero commission online trading okay zero commission very exciting and now we'll be doing a, uh, a lot more of those so that is happening on december 5 and 7 if you want to come for a master class and you can come for uh a re-attendance of course it's uh, uh unlimited re-attendance through zoom in here definitely uh, another benefit so the number you should call is 010-266-9761 in here so we have two uh, uh, courses for you right now uh, the November 21st that's the one and then we have the December 5th and 7th that's the one that is almost uh, a five-day course we stretch out over three days all right do you have another date for the 21st of November no there's no there it's only one day that, that one on Saturday okay we make it free available for that one if you miss that one we may do another one but it all depends uh, but it's only up to 500 people in here again there's no recording uh, there will be no notes given. You can take snapshot or whatever the case is. You're doing a lot of case study, then that's where you can ask a lot of questions. At least I have longer time with you than uh, my usual one hour. I'll spend about six hours with you guys. So definitely a, a bonus for you. So okay, Dow is up 200 points. That's good, okay? I bought the monthly pass this month. Okay, good, bye -bye. then you can come for 20 So make sure, again, uh, it's a first come basis. So on the 21st of November, when we open up, I, I don't think we have 500 people. Uh. I got the room Zoom for 500 people to, to come in so I can sort of coach you guys up there in here. Okay, so that is something for you who are so-called price sensitive. If you like what you see so far, then you can join some of our later courses and seminar and upgrade your skill. All right, so this course that we're doing in December is already filling up. And uh, remember, the growth investing, there is no software given out. You can just use Smart Roby, whatever the case is. But I'll show you some of the tools that I use on Trade VSA. If you like what you see, that's good. There's also uh, for the masterclass, we will have the US stock screener, which I'll share with you in here. Definitely the, the KLC one is already ready and enabled. At the end of the day, whoever wins, market must go higher. And how do we do that? we use Pentagon, all right? So that way you can invest with confidence and knowing some of the things that we talk about smart money. So you can definitely see using the green Pentagon for those who are first time buying when it's green, selling when it's red. So with all our buy and sell signal, these are all patent in our trade VSA. Pretty much like what you see right now here. So you can see uh, going back to my uh, here, I'll just go on to my KLCI right you can see this is where we are right now you can see this chart you can see uh, right now is red pentagon no good it does look like it's gonna go down some more all right uh or when the market is ready we had wait for the red pen uh for the green pentagon and when it turned blue trend zone so that's how we use the uh the smart roby for that one okay so uh, people who have used our smart roby and you can see five out of five out of 56 testimonial in here and vsa is becoming more and more popular as we try to incorporate uh, vsa with, with the growth investing and we have our whole suite of vsa pentagon algorithm smart roby and our real-time charge on radio that makes it uh the market very favorable and if you're going to have a nice boom which i think it is for 2021 after whoever wins whether it's biden or trump I tell you, man, you're going to make a lot. Man. And we're going to talk about the end game, which is one of the things I share with the student too. All right. So I want to do a summary. So uh, you can sign up for our December class or you can sign up for our uh, 21st November, our growth investing course for the US market. And you will get this screener. That's right. This is only for the master class. All right. And uh, volume spread analysis is something that I've learned from my Sifu. Here you can see a picture of me and Tom. And our December intake, the date is December 5th. And now uh, what is in our value investing course, as I say in here, we focus a lot on technological sectors. We do case study. I will give you a very simple method to calculate one, two, three method, I call it, and how to look for those stock trade idea too. All right, it's suitable for you as if you are an investor and that will be from 10 to 3.30 in here. Okay, you can take a picture of this one if you want to, just remind yourself and set it in the, in the calendar, okay? So summary in here, five tips tonight I've shared with you, plus one more, value growth personally from me to you. So you will learn it huh, for the 2021 and 2022 in here. Business as usual with 
Trump winning. Okay, we, we, what do we say? The US sell off, if it happens, is temporarily, rally will come unless we have Donkey Kong. Okay, COVID cases will continue to balloon. That, what does that mean? That means work from home is going to be ongoing. Hospitalization PPE don't sell so soon inside there. The US China trade war is really good. That's why the EMS, the, the electronics, the furniture, all will be shifted out from China to Malaysia. Okay, from our KLCI uh, side, many of the uh, local sectors, if it's not export oriented, try to avoid. You're going to get into lots a lot of trouble. Even now you have the Agong intervention and then lawyers are trying to sue them. That's what you're hanging there. But the growth investing focus for it will be focused on the KLC market. Keep in mind. That's something I want to teach you. It's my gift to you. All right. If you like what you see, share this video and also go over the Facebook review and give us a good uh, review for that one. All right. So if you're first time, do join us for our Telegram chat room in here. Right, uh, number one, and uh, this is a QR code for more tutorial on Trade VSA. If you want to know more, but we will cover this in later part of it. All right, okay, good, Jin. Okay, how do I know if I'm the first 500 people? So, Winston, right, make sure on the 21st we will omit those 500 people who come in early. And what we try to do, uh, myself and my team, because I we, we please do not share the link to your friend because. I do think some people will share, you know, it's almost free, right? But keep it to yourself, don't share the link. If you want, get them to use Smart Roby because I'm going to get them to use Smart Roby together with this, this thing, okay? But it's a course uh, that I find uh, we will do a lot of good research and sort of give you the idea how to look into 2021 on growth investing value, okay? So if you've got no more questions there, okay, the, the here have been the last 25 months due to majority issues. Okay, there's a question in here, a comment. Huh? The political turmoil are already here for the last 25 months due to majority issue. How and why is going to be different? With majority MP supporting a budget, everyone fresh, it doesn't sound like there's something which is not good. What's my comment? My comment with Malaysia, we need a third force. Okay, uh, If you have Anwar as the Prime Minister, it's going to be good for reforms, but a lot of the what we call ultra-risk Malay or the conservative Malay like Donald Trump type, will not like him. That's the problem we have. We have no solution in here, right? So that tells you why we need to diversify from our Malaysian background. One way is growth investing, where once you learn it, you can focus on the Malaysia and focus on the US market in here, right? Uh, that's what I'm doing for my client. As you can see, over a period of uh, five to seven years, I made more than a few million for, for many of my clients and for myself too. Uh, of course, my portfolio is not small. Uh, it's quite a substantial. We're talking about two to three hundred thousands. Uh, one of the clients, I'm very happy. I started with three hundred. I'm close to about one million in seven years, which is uh, felt very happy for them. And I told her, take some money out and bring your mother for holiday. He said, where to go, Martin? Every week got COVID. Oh yeah, that's true. So, <laughs> so I said, la, we plan for Europe trip next year. Okay. Hmm. How to purchase the pass? Just go over to the okay. Some of you don't know how to purchase. You activate your monthly pass. Okay. So what you do? Activate your monthly pass. We will know. So you go over here. Go to wallet, right? And uh, see the real pass just here. Ah, uh, just click this one. It, once you you because what we're trying to do is that as long as we acknowledge that you uh paid eight hundred credit. We will honor and give you the uh, the cost uh, on the 21st November, okay? Uh, or you can read the email that's sent to you. You know, every time when the email sent to you inside here, uh, there is a section, uh, view messages, there's an inbox here, right? Read the mail, yeah, that's the one, okay? Free seminar in here, limit to first 500 uh, person only, okay? So far, we got 360. So if all 360 come today, then very fast full up already. Because we're also doing it for the students also. Remember the university students, we wanted to also to teach them too. Okay? So with that, I finish tonight. Any more questions, guys? Uh, we finish at 9.30. Now there's a number there, 01026697761. If you have any queries, do let me know because we want to take care of you. Okay? That's the least we could do. All right. So thank you very much for coming tonight. Thank you for your presence. I, uh, I should see you on Friday on our breakfast show. All right. With that, good night.